Foreign Correspondents Club of Thailand. My name is Jean Halsey. I'm one of the board members. Um, before we begin tonight, just a few quick announcements. Um, please do check your bulletin because we have several uh, upcoming programs next week, including the every year the FCCT has long followed um, a tribute to um, the human rights lawyer Somchai Nilapajit, who of course went missing uh, more than a decade ago. So his widow, Ankana Nilapajit, will be here along with the International Commission of Jurists. That'll be on the 2nd of March. And um, speaking of Burma, Myanmar, um, the ASEAN um, People's Forum, which is a coalition of various civil society organizations that come together whilst ASEAN will be hosted in Myanmar this year, are going to be holding their uh, key press conference prior to the curtain raising um, of the ASEAN meet in Yangon, and that will be on Wednesday the 5th at uh, 10 a.m. So please do check your bulletin and come along to those events. And we are um, waiting to confirm our ongoing coverage uh, in bringing you panels about the continuing political unrest and escalating violence in Thailand. We are here to uh, welcome uh, Fortify Rights for the launching of their report, Policies of Persecution, Ending Abusive State Policies Against Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. Um, that also includes um, heretofore undisclosed documents, information that was um, uh, accessed for this report to corroborate some of the very tragic and gross human rights abuses that we have heard about for quite a long time since the violence began to erupt in Arakan or Rakhine State in Myanmar um, last year. Um, we're going to open up the press conference with a very remarkable body of work um, by one of our colleagues who might be known to you, Greg Constantine. He's a documentary photographer who has spent quite a long part of his life, a number of years, um, doing an, a remarkable uh, and profound body of work, imagery, um, showing us through images and, and pictures that are very haunting and harrowing what the plight of the Rohingya have been. This is part of a, a broader global work he's been doing on stateless peoples around the world. And he has documented the plight of the Rohingya in numerous countries. This exhibit, by the way, um, was uh, groundbreaking in the fact that it was shown in the Holocaust Museum in the United States in Washington, D.C., which is extremely rare for them to show something that is not related to um, the pogroms and the Holocaust of World War II, and it, it created such wrath that the president of Burma actually uh, commented that it was a disgrace that the exhibit was shown there. But we're going to start with him as images, and then we're going to be joined um, by Taylor and Matthew. Taylor is a is uh, a lawyer. Um, she's trained for the United States. She's, uh, her expertise is in international human rights law. She has been a, a lead researcher at Fortify Rights, which was founded um, just, just less than a year ago um, by, by Matthew. Uh, she was previously a prosecutor with the International Criminal Court in The Hague. And Matthew is known to many of the colleagues here who have followed Burma because he's been around for a long time. He used to be based in Chiang Mai, where he worked with Earth, Earth Rights International. Uh, that was founded by another American lawyer, Tyler Giannini. He was there from 2005 to 11. And then he also produced some seminal reports for Human Rights Watch um, from Myanmar, Burma, including uh, several reports about the plight of the Rohingya, as well as the ethnic Kachin and their ongoing conflict. So we're going to start with the slideshow and go straight to the presser. Thanks for your attention.
Thank you for that, uh, Greg, and um, these very powerful uh, visual testimonials, I would like to describe them as, um, are part of this in-depth project Greg has devoted his last few years of his work to, and they will be on exhibition in Bangkok, um, actually, in the middle of March um, at, a, at a bank building, um, a large space uh, the, in uh, Sirawang Road, and please see Greg later um, for the contact details. Greg, the name of that bank, if you could just tell us the name of the venue exhibition. So Greg will send out an announcement and indeed we'll post that um, on the bulletin board of the FCCT and we're hoping to have some of those images come here. So um, that has certainly set the stage, Matthew, for uh, this report um, in showing us this very tragic and ongoing plight of a people. Um, let's start with you as the, the co-founder of Fortify Rights and, and the launcher of this report today. Great. Uh, thanks very much, Jeannie. And um, thanks also, Greg. Uh, this was my first opportunity to, to see the slideshow. I'm familiar with Greg's work, and I've got a copy of his book. I would highly recommend all of you take a look at that and get yourself a copy as well. It's it's beautiful book. It's powerful. It's very important. Uh, so thanks to Greg for that also. Appreciate it. Um, so I just want to say a few words of introduction very quickly about Fortify Rights. As Jeannie mentioned, we're a new organization. Uh, we have a two-pronged mandate. So we provide technical support to human rights defenders, uh, which has come in the form of trainings and workshops and other types of support. Um, and the, other the other side of our work involves independent human rights monitoring, uh, documenting human rights violations, and conducting strategic advocacy. Uh, and that, that side of our work is what brings us here today. Um, before I get into the findings of the report, I just I want to give a sp some special thanks to the many Rohingya and others who've been very helpful in making this report happen. Uh, we originally